Hang on until I fix me. Which I have no idea what that will do. <laughs> it's lovely to be introduced as Elaine Devlin because usually I only ever get addressed as where's my, as in Mom, where's my shoes, <laughs> where's my homework, where's my, my family think that I am a GPS for all their crap, <laughs> what I like to know is where's my identity gone. Uh, I am about to be launched into the experience of parenting teenagers, so it's really helpful to see so many of you here because I have <laughs> no idea what I'm doing. Um, for the start, there seems to be a huge amount of sex going on, which did not exist in 1990 when I was. Uh, a teenager, I think. Um, and going with the sex, there's a whole lot of funguses and viruses that I'm hoping that you know about because partly it's my responsibility to save my children from this fate. I would have liked it if the government had done it for me. But um, in an attempt to be a good mother, I have knitted them something to help. I have realised that the only way to help them is to get a Pavlovian response to my sons between sex and condoms. So I knitted them a little bag. <laughs> 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 you can keep the condoms in. <laughs> that works. <laughs> Sorry, it's upside down. It's called the snatchel. <laughs> Can you see now? <laughs> what we have is some basic anatomy, a couple of ovaries, <laughs> and a thick and full minge. <laughs> now, this is a political statement on my part, because ladies, I do not know what has happened with this sudden outbreak of pubic alopecia, but can we just stop it, please? I do not want my sons growing up thinking that a normal woman is some sort of a hairy freak. <laughs> it's fair enough to have a wee bit of a tidy up round about the edges, but um, I'm looking for justification for the vajazzle. <laughs> <laughs> yes, some of you know. The vajazzle, if you're not you know, heavily into extreme grooming, um, that's where you pay somebody to pluck out each one of your God-given pubic hairs and um, replace it instead with a sparkly diamante. <laughs> How nice. Costs about 55 quid, is that right girls? Um, I'm telling you, if you know about this, you've been done because the man gets to that point, he's so happy that he doesn't really care whether you've got a crotch like a gorilla or you have a mirror ball hanging from your bed. So he's thinking with his little head at that point. Uh, <laughs> it only has one eye. <laughs> and it's not known for its love of aesthetics. The good jazz. I tell you, the choke hazards in that thing alone are worth giving serious consideration. <laughs> So the basic message that I'm looking for my sons to glean from the snatchel are... <laughs> Gotta work. Are... You want a bit of that? You need some of these. Or you'll get one of those. <laughs> shows you get to come to, it's got its own knitted fetus. Anyway, it's not quite good, that's There's a man down here blinking down in the lot because I think he thinks that this counts as good old and good old action. So <laughs> <laughs> shoot myself. So, I need your help though because my husband tells me quite a lot that there's a direct correlation between how happy a man is and how much sex he gets. I'm not sure why he keeps mentioning it, but I just ignore him. And I want them to grow up into being happy men. So, is it my responsibility to teach them the skills they need to go to a party and make all the girls there think, but when he was coming, I'd have gone and had that wax job. That's my job, is the one. Now, be honest, boys. Who amongst you here likes to employ this method of seduction? <laughs> How do you know that Craig likes to use that method of seduction? <laughs> Are you the what's it man? <laughs> Well, I have to tell you that if that is your favourite 
method, it's a bad idea because women, if your mum loved you properly, she would have told you that we come with our own wee sleep button in our bottoms, and if you poke it with your really, we have no choice but to do this. <laughs> There's nothing more we can assign. Instead of which, what you should do is turn your attention back to the satchel as a sort of teaching aid. <laughs> you need to play the long game, boys. If you want to have a lot of sex, you have to pay attention here. We've got the furry bit. We've got the smooth bit. We've got the flappy bit. And look, the tickly bit. <laughs> I made it sparkly so that you can see it under the stage lights and um, also it's quite easy to find, which can be helpful. But, um, <laughs> what you boys need to do is ignore the pedenda. Now, I know that seems like a wild and crazy thing, but bear with me. Ignore this and turn your attention instead to your dishwasher. And if your dishwasher is full, empty it. And if it's empty, fill it. And then give you that king of all chat up lines, which is this. No, darling, you go and sit down. I'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> now, it takes three to four hours to work, but I guarantee you that by the time you get into bed, you'll be utterly irresistible. <laughs> and if you're looking for something a little bit dirty, you say this. No, darling, I'll do that. Here's a glass of wine. You go and sit down. <laughs> Works every time. <laughs> That's why I had three children in four years. <laughs> My name's Elaine Devlin, and I'm connected.